Well, hello there. Shelly Rocks here. It is tutorial Hi. time. So if you're here, you've uh, been struggling to get No Man's Sky running it on Steam to check out the new Desolation patch. I was been, I've been struggling for hours to get this running, and every time I run it, I get this error code. Some people seem to get a different error code. I get this one. So this is the one I get. It looks like it's running. And then I can see down here. I can see the game, but I can't click on it. There you go, I had to, had to alt and tab to it. So yeah, I'm seeing this error here. The game has encountered an error, it will shut down. Please refer to Hello Games, blah, blah, blah. And I've not found anyone with that exact same reference number, which is what the trouble is I'm having. So that doesn't work. Some people say go into the folder and run it like this. And that fixes it. But let's see if that fixes it. Nope. That ain't fixed it. Then others of people have even said that you go into the settings and then you can go into this. You can do edit. Make sure your graphics card selected. As you can see, mine is. Yeah, so I'd even uh, added it to my firewall and network protection in case it was having trouble getting online. Thing is, this, used, this did work for desolation parts. And then I've just added it in here. Yeah, so it's here. So... That's just allowed private and public access, and you can just uh, you can just click down there and allow access to another. If you do change settings, allow to another app, and you point to the uh, the folder where your thing is. So mine is in here. So you just point to the uh, the bin. Steam, I think it's Steam. Um, where is it now? It's in Steam, Steam apps, common, and it's in there, and it's in there, and then you just add that, and then that appears in there. So these are all the steps I've actually done, and I don't know which one it is that's got it working. Okay, so what else did I try? Um, another thing that people said about was with Steam. Steam, you can verify the files. Now, I did do that, so it might be worth you doing that. So if you go to properties, if you go to local files, and then you do verify integrity, you might have a corrupt file. I didn't. I made sure I was also updated on my graphics drivers. I also <laughs> ended up turning off my overlay in uh, GeForce Experience, which you, you right-click on there, you get GeForce Experience, you go into your settings, you scroll down to here, in-game overlay. I turned that off, and that didn't fix it. I even went to the experimental branch in here, which apparently has the latest bug fixes, and that didn't fix it. Now, do you want to know the thing that fixed it? Right, well, I'll just show you what I did. I removed a, a program which I used to record called Bandicam. And once I'd removed that, rebooted my PC, as you saw before, it wasn't working. So, as you can see, it now works. I don't understand how, I don't understand why, but I know that removing Bandicam totally fixed it for me. So, if you have got Bandicam installed on your machine, get that off, burn it, never use it again. I used to use it instead of OBS on some games. So I don't, it's, I don't understand why it fixes it. I just saw one person on a thread mention this. So uh, yeah, remove it. Do all these things. Make sure you've got your, the executable added to Windows Firewall. Make sure you've verified your local files. You know, try running it binary directly. Make sure your graphics card's listed in that file. Make sure your drivers are updated. Uh, turn off the overlay in GeForce Experience. And yeah. Make sure you don't use, make sure you don't use Bandicam. I don't have a clue what hooks into um, No Man's Sky, but yeah, that's what fixed it for me. So sorry for that rumbling video, but let me know if this helped you because I can't, I couldn't find anywhere on the internet that helped me fix this uh, exact issue I was having. So uh, yeah, give me some love if this fixed it for you.